Hello, hello. Welcome to another episode of the Chrissy Mayer Podcast. We are on iTunes, YouTube, Spotify, and SoundCloud. And if you're listening to us on iTunes right now, go ahead and leave us a five-star review. For example, here's a really great review from Rex215. Great show. I knew nothing about Chrissy till seeing her as a guest on Friday Night Tights. Shout out to Friday Night Tights. From there, I started following and watching her interviews of people I knew. I was instantly hooked, and now I watch her interviews with people I don't even know. She is awesome. Just long enough, covers the important stuff, and keeps the guests engaged. Worth the listen slash subscribe. Thank you so much, Rex. That is a kick-ass review. Uh, I'm so excited to be doing stand-up this weekend in Las Vegas. I'm doing four shows this weekend with Comedians of the Compound. We will be uh, at the Comedy Works Club in the Plaza Hotel, which is kind of down down there on the strip. And then I'm heading to Texas, headlining four shows at Hyenas in Dallas, September 17th and 18th. For more of my shows and tickets and details, head to my website, chrissymayer.com. A quick shout out to our sponsors, for which without them, we would not be here. Uh, I want to tell you guys really briefly about Cushy Dreams. They're my one-stop shop for all things cbd related uh i really like them because i can get all the health benefits of cbd without getting high they specialize in high quality cbd that comes in uh these tins or these pre-rolls right here i really like the pre-rolls they're portable they're chic they come in a little five pack whoop you just open it up and then they're ready to go looks smells tastes like high quality marijuana but it's not you're not gonna get high there's like point under 0.3% THC in all these products. Uh, there's different indica sativa blends like dream, relax, create energy, peace. So whatever you want to do with your day, Cushy Dreams uh, has you covered. Join the men and women who are sick of vapes and gummies and want to smoke their CBD. It's grown right here in the USA. Ships to any of the 50 states. Legal. All that good stuff. Go to CushyDreams.com. K-U-S-H-Y dreams.com and use promo code cmp at checkout to get 20 percent off plus free shipping and i have another great sponsor that's new this is very exciting for my single people we all know dating apps are terrible you're swiping on faces you're like is this person even good ideally it would be great to have a values-based matching system which is exactly what drome is um, because if you happen to be a conservative, right, things might not work out with someone who's a super lib and vice versa. Same with religion, lifestyle, how to raise children, other core va- values. Sure, anybody might change to meet you where you are, but why not just find the perfect match from the start? Drome is a free new values based dating app. You pick the deal breakers and deal makers. There are no experts, no match percentages. You don't have to addictively check the app. As soon as someone matches your deal breakers and deal makers and you match theirs, you get a notification. Drome is also video only for more human interactions. Uh, go to drome.date slash CMP. In your phone's browser, click the iOS or Google button to install and use the invite code CMP to sign up. If you're already matched up, tell your friends and tell your partner to tell their friends as well. And it's worth it. It's it's free. Why not? Why not give it a whirl? That's D-R-O-M dot date slash CMP. Design and meet your perfect match. It's free to use. Guys, just try it. Why not? Okay. I'm so excited to have this gal on the podcast today. She's hot. <laughs> Not only is she hot, she's won she's won multiple awards in Europe and Asia, including DDF's runner-up for best BDSM performer, multiple IAFD Spank Bank Awards. In 2021, she was inducted into the Urban X Hall of Fame. She was on Penthouse, Hustler, Taboo, and many other magazines. Uh She was featured on Rolling Stone, Daily Beast, so much more. So many credits. Oh, my goodness. The list goes on and on. We're going to get into all of it. Uh, Welcome to the show. Marika Hayes, how are you? Hello. Oh, my God. Is that a cat? (laughs) You don't know me. (laughs) Bring your cat. We love animals on the pod. Oh, my God. (laughs) hi how are you oh my goodness i was like almost thinking okay i i was like i need to learn some japanese because you're japanese (laughs) but it's i i failed miserably at that so 
we're just gonna roll with it we're just gonna have fun um what's new with you Monica? i know uh I w- i'm friends with your publicist erica and she was like oh my god you have to have this girl she's great <laughs> um what's what's new with you what are some projects you're working on um where can people find you do you want to give a little bit of a background about yourself a little bit of um if people um, haven't heard of you before um i just back to industry from this year because I was fighting with my cancer and I beat my cancer. Oh um, my God, that's <laughs> right. You're a cancer survivor. Oh my gosh. Yes, yeah, so I get new big boobs. <laughs> so you have new boobs? That was your reward for, for kicking cancer's ass? I'm going to put you over here so that my face is in the chat. Um, <laughs> did you have, um, Do you, if you don't mind me asking, did you have breast cancer or you just gave yourself new boobs oh, no, as a reward? Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah, so oh, I my gosh. We had the reconstruction surgery. <laughs> you got reconstructive boob surgery. And how long have you been in the industry for? I start this, I think, 12 years ago when I was in ago. Japan. Yes. But the three and- years I break because uh, to fight with cancer oh my god and that's kind of amazing and you beat cancer and now you're back (laughs) good for you you're not letting it stop you um and you were i guess you you started out in japan you were like a model you were like you know you were an actress you kind of like it sounds like you did it all um how did you get your start kind of in the adult world um i just uh, at this moment at the I was not interested in sex. I don't know. I can't say this is. You can say sex. Oh my God. Yeah. This is like go nuts. Curse. Do whatever. You know, no nudity. I mean, unfortunately, but yeah. Yeah. I just very loved in perform in the front of camera. So I was looking for more opportunity to do something in the front of camera. And I found a big audition, which is a big one of the biggest Japanese studio looking for new contract stuff. So I thought, okay, if I want this audition, maybe I uh, I don't care it's sex or normal acting, but uh, I can get more opportunity in the front of the camera. I thought so. Then I go to audition. <laughs> did someone sort of scout you out or did you kind of make the first move? Like, did you sort of seek out getting involved in the industry? I go, someone. Someone kind of scouted you? I uh, no no I I do by myself but oh you it was all you oh wow good for you yes but after I won the audition and they decide oh, when is my first shoot after that I'm getting scary I think three or four days before the shoot I getting scary and really nervous and I canceled the once my debut shoot that was your first <laughs> your first shoot yeah. ever you canceled four days before yeah. you're supposed to do it because you were like were you worried you were nervous you're like i don't want to do this <laughs> and then and then what happened did you how did you reconsider what made you want to would try it out again because one of the, my, uh, my friend was is big porn star her name is hotel akane and uh she told me the porn is not so bad and depends on people but it's so fun so i decided to go to the shoot yes <laughs> so you went through that yeah because you had a friend who was like eh, it's not so bad <laughs> and was she right and you were like i guess so you've been in it like 12 years now yes <laughs> but uh but but uh, i was contract stuff with the camp one studio and uh, they want to sell me more like a really innocent quiet pure girl so, okay but my first shoot they told me okay be you so i <laughs> once camera is ready i start um deep throat <laughs> <laughs> so and like this is so interesting like monica because i'm like 
I wonder how you deal with like it seems to me like the the sort of like classic whatever like Japanese like whatever fetish kink whatever you call it is like right the 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 I don't know maybe it's a stereotype that 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 are you expected to be um, or do you get typecast somehow sometimes like okay you have to be quiet you have to be demure you have to be like the the classic kind of like stereotype you know do you do you feel like you get cast for those roles a lot do you feel like you're sort of like maybe pigeonholed or like how much opportunity do you have to just like do, be you you know um i i thought uh, it's exactly me classic <laughs> very quiet very innocent girl because i did not know any other girl what they doing when they have okay. so i thought oh, i was very classical very innocent girl so i did my style but at the moment my all my boyfriend was not like a normal boyfriend more like a, i was being kind of slave <laughs> My you really you had like a kind of an abusive relationship. Oh, so, so you're in like kind of a was he like abusive or controlling your boyfriend or okay? Oh God, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, I, I just I love that. Mm -hmm. So I thought the style is very normal, innocent style. Okay, interesting. Okay, so what was it like um, being a uh, on penthouse what was that like getting involved with penthouse or you were on the cover yes i am penthouse pet of january 2013 when i became penthouse pet i i can't tell penthouse people but i did not know how much big deal because we don't have a penthouse magazine in japan <laughs> yeah but everybody uh, Congratulations, congratulations, and it keep saying me. So, um, what is this? Just one of the magazine, right? <laughs> I thought so, but after that, the penthouse yeah, gave me so many great education. Like, uh, how do I in independent strong lady in the okay? Yeah, they helped you like build your business. Yes. And with, yeah, being an entrepreneur and that's great. Yeah, I learn a lot. <laughs> do you get, Marka, do you get like maybe friends or family from back home or are you, you're still in Japan now, right? I mean, Los Angeles. Oh, no, you're in Los Angeles. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you ever, do you work, do you go back to Japan to work there or you're, you're based here now? Based here now, but when I go back to Japan, I still working for Japanese company. And for now, Japanese company is shooting my document movie. Oh, they're making a documentary about you. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's exciting. Yes, but it's a COVID season, so they stopped the shoot once, but they're gonna restart again this year. Okay, have any of your friends or family from back home, like, uh, when they learn that you're like in the adult industry, have they sort of like cut off from you or are they like not pleased with what you're doing with your life? Like have any of them sort of. Before I shoot my first movie, my Japanese agency and me go to my parents' house to tell I will be porn star. <laughs> oh my God. It's, yeah. it, what's your parents? It's a bit, and is that how they first learned? Is that how they knew? Yeah. Was hearing from them. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> because I live in like a um, center of um, kind of New York City. I'm really city girl. Mm -hmm. My parents also live in little city, so they will notice um, all the magazine, all the signboard was me. Mm -hmm. So after I debut, if they notice me and they start to matter to me, I I can't continue to pawn. So I <laughs> I decide I tell them before shoot pawn my first pawn. Okay. And wow. Mom said uh, mom, mom was angry, of course. <laughs> but oh no! Uh, and how old were you when you did your first one? Oh, I was. 
25, mm-hmm. I think. <laughs> yeah, before I started porn, already I was naked model. Okay, you oh, you did some nude modeling, right? I didn't mm-hmm. read that. Yeah, so mom was mad, but uh, right now mom is okay as long as I am healthy and I am alive. <laughs> <laughs> She just cares that you're alive. You're like, just don't die. Oh. <laughs> and my daddy is crazy, really crazy. So he told me, okay, do your best. Even if I watch your phone, I want to masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> he, he really supporting me. Your dad is supportive? Mm-hmm. Okay. He, he came to my autography session too. Oh, okay. So he shows up at events sometimes. Oh no, I just remember I was autography session with another model, and I was thinking, okay, my daddy told me he will be here, but he is not here. I was a little bit sad, but I looked at another model's line. He he was in the line to another model's autography session. He was trying to get another girl's autograph. Yes. <laughs> Oh my god. He's crazy. That's funny. So so he's familiar with the industry, I guess. Wow, that's crazy. Do you ever think like if your dad has like ever watched any of your porn? <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. I mean it's possible. That's crazy. <laughs> oh well, I hope he's proud. <laughs> That's wild. Yeah, I get. I feel weird. Like when uh, my parents would show up to comedy shows, I felt like, oh, I, I can't talk about them. Like I can't make jokes about them. Like, so I can't imagine. Like, <laughs> you know. But it's it's good that your parents like they seem okay with it. Um, were any of your friends surprised when you went into the adult industry? Mm, no, I already told them before. Go to industry they knew okay yes but oh and uh, currently my mom already oh i told you already my mom knows uh, what i am doing right now my job Uh, but uh, she did not know i am kind of more like a hardcore performer (laughs) yeah a hardcore model yeah (laughs) yeah a week ago she was looking on my twitter and instagram and she found my deep dp with three black guys <laughs> and, and the thing is with pink so your mom found your dp all yeah. right yeah. You know what? she takes everybody, everybody at some point i feel you are very far <laughs> my oh my god <laughs> How do, what did she say to you after that? <laughs> She's okay, but uh, she said uh, she, she feel I'm very far. She feel distance from me. <laughs> really? Okay, so you felt like, I don't know. Oh, my goodness. That is so funny. But it seems like you have a really good attitude about it. And, like, you know, I feel like no parents are going to accept 100%. Like, they're not going to be like, oh, great. But they seem like they, they're understanding and... Are giving you space at least mm-hmm. until your dad shows up asking for an autograph i guess <laughs> oh. oh my god that's so interesting um and you so you're a cancer survivor how did you i mean how did you find out that you had cancer um oh i found by myself I, that i have a lamp when i take care of my neighbor's cat because my neighbor also cancer survivor and she was surgery over two nights so i was taking care of her cat and uh, okay cancer i feel okay cancer is really scary how does she notice and uh, maybe she touched by herself on her boobs and i tried maybe like this oh my god i have lump too oh no okay and so, yeah. okay, you caught it, and then did you? I guess you caught it early enough that um, um, you were able to do something. Then, but uh, but uh, I did not believe myself. Just it, 
I feel just lump, but it, I feel it's not cancer. You just thought it was a regular lump. You're like, yeah. that could be anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I told my friend and my friend told me, okay, you should go to doctor to buy feel comfortable. Maybe doctor will tell you it's not cancer. This way you can comfortable. So I went to doctor and he told me, okay, it's not cancer. 99% it's not cancer. So I feel <gasps> comfortable. She said it wasn't cancer. Oh my God. <laughs> and he told, but it was a pretty much big lump. So we decided uh, just lump it to me. Okay. Um, so after lumpix I me mean, after I think two weeks, doctor called me. You have to come to our office, and I went to his office, and he told me, "Okay, this is cancer." <gasps> okay, so it's wow. Oh my goodness! So you didn't find out till two weeks after they took it out. Yes. <sighs> what yes, was your reaction when they told you that? that <laughs> How did you feel when you got that news? Uh. I, I couldn't understand. Uh, I, I thought, of, okay, I couldn't understand my English. My English skill was limited. <laughs> so. It's okay. Me too. Okay. So when the doctor said uh, no, that no, no. it's. I, I thought uh, I did not believe he, what he said because uh, I was thinking my English skill, skill is limited. Oh, uh, okay. So I feel, okay. He told me I have cancer, but. Uh, Maybe I couldn't understand what he said. <laughs> like, I maybe I heard you wrong. You're like, can we get an interpreter in here? Because I feel like he said I have cancer, but maybe I just don't know English enough. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. So how, um, what age were you when you found this out? Hmm? How old were you when you, when you found um, out you had cancer? I think 34. 34? 34. Hmm. Wow, that's so scary. And then, so he said it's cancer. And then, what was what came after that? Then, oh, I didn't know cancer. Uh, I thought cancer is before surgery. They can tell me what stage, and they can tell me I have spread or I don't have spread. They can tell me all the information. I thought so, but. Uh, the doctor told me cancer is uh, before before surgery. Uh, nobody knows. It, they so, didn't know if it had spread or not. Yeah. So doctor told me, I uh, he does not know. I need a chemotherapy or I need a re, the the uh, radiation or I need only surgery. So I thought, okay, I should go back to Japan and I get a treatment with my parents. Yeah. But the penthouse the owner, the last owner, Kelly Holland, uh, she told me, let me introduce the uh, City of Hope, which is uh, one of the biggest cancer doctor. And uh, I went uh, before you go back to Japan. And uh, so... I went to City of Hope and uh, they are very nice. So I decided I'm going to fight with my cancer here <laughs> with City of Hope. Was it a little scary to to like make that decision? Like I'm going to stay but in the City of Hope. Is that in Los Angeles? Is that in California? Or yeah. OK. Um, I think. Uh, the surgery day, it was, I feel really scary, but before surgery, I did not feel scary because I did not feel it's real. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So how long, like, um, so you had the lumpectomy, how long between then did you have like the surgery? Uh, September, I think September, the lumpectomy then next of March, so which is three. Oh, after six months, they give me the main surgery, which is the double mastectomy D or double, no, okay. reconstruction surgery. Wow. And then so how long after the double mastectomy did you, you know, get the reconstructive surgery? Uh, my, my first reconstruction 
construction surgery was at the same time, same day. Oh, the same day. Okay, yeah. wow. But uh, yes, but uh, I was not uh, satisfied. I think uh, normal cancer people is satisfied. I think they feel uh, uh, we are happy as long as we are alive. <laughs> yeah, so, and you're like, no, I want a nice yeah. rack. Yeah. And my goal is back to industry. My biggest goal is so I feel okay. Uh, I can't. <laughs> so I decided uh, I reconstruction surgery again. So I thought I re reconstruction surgery five times. You had five two. reconstructive surgery. Wow. Also, so I lost my nipple uh, right side. You so, lost your left nipple? Yes. Because Where did it go? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Nobody knows where it went. Because, you know, they like a kind of fisting, they open my boobs and the fisting and take out all my inside the boobs. The material. Yeah, yeah. And your so, tissue. So my nipple is come out. Oh. oh my God. I mean, how do you lose a nipple? Okay, that sucks. But, but I get a fake nipple. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that's good did it match closely like is it does it look okay i mean you don't have to, yeah. don't have to show me i don't want to get banned but I, like <laughs> i wish i can show you <laughs> oh my god you have to come on my other show and show me but here you two we can't unfortunately the, um <laughs> doctor called this is a very new surgery on the nipple implant they find the very matching of my <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty amazing i mean like they sold do you like do you think it looks pretty i mean it must look pretty close i mean i, I feel like you yeah, can't tell if i don't tell it's a fake uh, nobody knows it i think wow that's pretty but amazing before every single my shoot i have to tell uh, my co performer okay this is on my right side this is fake nip so you you can touch me but uh, you can't squeeze <laughs> don't squeeze the left one is fake or the right one is fake this uh, right side is fake the right one's fake so okay if they squeeze it it's come out so you guys have to find my nip <laughs> <laughs> you're like don't squeeze it it'll come <laughs> off <You're> like <laughs> not to scare you but yeah what is the what is the fake one made of implant Okay, okay, it's just made of so implant. Implant right. and uh, but uh, then put the implant and uh, cover my skin. Okay. Wow. I mean, technology is so amazing, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Um, and now you have you have a fuck cancer tea t shirt yeah. that's avail available through Marion Apparel. Yes. Um, I think I can I think this is the right website here. I can bring it up here so people can see where they can get these t-shirts oh. let me see pull it up okay let me tell me if this is the right oh, yeah. website is this it here oh yeah this one woohoo okay where is your shirt let's see i think i did this my shot this i think three or four shots okay let's see would it be new it would be tees Hmm. Unbeatable. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's here somewhere. We lost it. Like we lost the nipple. Okay. We gotta <laughs> find this. <laughs> it's good that you have a really good sense of humor about that because <laughs> I think I know a lot of women who would not take it well. They, most people are not comfortable losing one nipple. <laughs> <laughs> they would freak the fuck out. <gasps> there. Oh man, I really want to find these. Okay. Oh, I'm I'm gonna bring my shot. Cause it. Oh, is it this one? I think it's this one. I'm gonna bring. Uh oh. Yeah, it is this one. She's gonna go get her nipple. I don't know what's happening. <sighs> We're figuring it out, guys. <laughs> Oh, that's fun. It's fun to be me. 
I think this other shirt is here. Oh, it comes in white and black. That's pretty cool. I don't know what she's going to go get. Maybe a cat? Maybe a nipple? Maybe she's gone? <laughs> Kayla? I know. I I hope... I mean, I want to see her naked, but not on YouTube. Because, oh you know, you guys know how YouTube is. So she's getting her shirt. Okay. Yeah, hello, Kate. Oh, yay! Okay. Uh-oh. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's so cute, and that's you. Yeah. I love it. Oh, that's so cute. And it says fuck. Oh, it doesn't say fuck. Fuck cancer. Oh, that's so cute. This is look, there it is again. Okay. I found it. Do you know the UFC? Yes, UFC fighting. Fighting champion Chris Cyborg. Chris Cyborg, no. Do you yeah, know him? Two years ago, she was a female champion, and she found this shot, and she uh, started to love it, and she contacted Marion Apparel and <laughs> sent me some t-shirts, and uh, Marion Apparel sent, and she wear. On... Oh, well, she wore your shirt? Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I wow. saw her Instagram. <laughs> That's so amazing. Did you tell your parents that they lost one of your nipples? <laughs> I guess you're, if they listen to this podcast, probably not though. And my my mom was here when I get my surgery. Oh, she came out to support. Yeah. Okay, support you while you got your surgery. That's good. That's really good. Okay, let's see. Let's see what else people can check out for you. Okay, you have a you. Oh, you have a YouTube channel. Yes. Okay, Marika Hayes official channel has one over has over eleven thousand subscribers. Uh, in this year, you signed on as a Nafty ambassador, and you're set to have your own NFT. Is th mm -hmm. Tell me about that. I just signed with them, so I'm still learning, but uh, I'm mm -hmm. so excited. <laughs> <laughs> An NFT is a non fungible token. That much I know. And what is it? Would it be like an image of you, or maybe a photo, or some kind of artwork of you? Yeah, I they are making uh, with my photo. That's cool. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't understand it, but I'm impressed by it. <laughs> um, okay. Then there's people can keep up with your by joining her PUBA website, uh, monicahaysofficial.com, or they can become a member of your OnlyFans. Yes. Oh, tell us about your OnlyFans. <laughs> OnlyFans, so people can chat in with me. Also, people can get um, exclusive of my content. I just shot the newest uh, BBC. <laughs> BBC. Yeah, we all know what that means, guys. I think. <laughs> okay, do you know, can you read this? I. <laughs> this is a super, ch I mean, it's not a super chat, but is this, is that Japanese? Yeah, Marika, I'm a Nihon, you know, he's asking, are you in Japan right now? Oh. Inai des, Jinja, Jinja Ninja-san, Inai des. Nope. Wow, let's see. There was another one. Um, can you read that? <laughs> Same <laughs> people. I love Marika Hase. Yay! Okay, good. Thank God they're saying nice things. <laughs> uh, anything anything Japanese, I'm just going to throw up, guys. So, you know. Okay, cool. Um, so on your OnlyFans, they can get exclusive content. Can they request custom videos from yeah, you or custom yeah, photos? Yeah. And sometimes I am doing uh, some event or a raffle, so people can get the PS5. <laughs> okay, awesome. Wait, we have another Japanese comment. I, pull, oh, I hope this is appropriate. It, it said, uh, I'm here too. Okay, whew, this is a risk. I have... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know what any of these say. I hope guys, yeah, yes. send in your Japanese comments um, and I'll throw them up. Um, so what is kind of like, not the, well, yeah, what's the craziest request you've had on OnlyFans? The content? Uh, co Requests, like weirdest oh. ask or weirdest um, 
<laughs> but, uh, like a strange, but, any strange requests? I, if I tell you right now, the people, if the people are watching, this. if people are watching, oh, you, <laughs> okay. Well, shoot, okay. The people with the strange requests are the ones that are watching. Isn't that just the kicker of it? They're they're all here, so it's one of these guys. Um, thank you, Gruntilda, for the super sticker. Okay, what um, what requests do you like getting? OnlyFans. Yes, on OnlyFans. Like, what do you like to? What kind of um videos do you like to make? For custom or for customs, yeah. Custom. I. I want to my customer feel, feel more, oh, it's really special. It's only for me. So I want to call their name a lot, the customer. Oh, okay. Not okay. like a perfect, perfect professional quality video, more like a home video I want to, I, I love to make. <laughs> <gasps> okay, yeah, so like home video, maybe like amateurish. That's nice. Yeah. Okay, we ready for another comment? Here goes. I don't know what this says. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> still okay. Uh, he said, uh, Marika is a uh, number one if you come to Kyushu. Kyushu is a uh, some uh, area in Japan. Let's meet up, he said. <laughs> This person wants to meet up with you. Ginger Ninja, you should have been the, my translator. <laughs> I could have used you. All right. Here. <laughs> okay. Here's one more from, okay. Dances with dogs. Oh, I don't know. I hope that's Japanese. We'll see. Okay. This was the dog. I think come, come inside. Oh no, dances with dogs. That's a bad one. <laughs> oh no. All right. All I, I right. Think, I think he is American because the Japanese is kind of weird. You think this is a Google Translate job? Yeah. Mm hmm. We see you dances with dogs. All right. <laughs> oh shoot he said i emailed you on instagram and you asked me to dm you on twitter whoops okay you're the guy then hey should we send him a link <laughs> yeah ginger let's send you a link hold on i'm gonna send it to frank and he'll send it to you oh that'd be so great um then we can have a wow a legit translator okay i'm sending this to ginger ninja sorry um can you send it to him okay i'm gonna send it to frank <laughs> okay okay here we go that's gonna be exciting person okay send the link cool to facebook all right tell him i'm going to okay ginger ninja frank is gonna instagram message you Oh, okay. We've got the rub PR <laughs> up in here. Okay, it's sent. Check your DMs. Okay, cool, cool. So we talked about your OnlyFans. That's really funny. You're like, they're here. Uh, you also have a premium Snapchat. Uh, mm -hmm. Fancentro.com slash Marika, uh, Marika Haas. Yeah. Some of the Japanese comments. She is translating the Japanese comments. Yeah, that's why I was telling people to write in Japanese, and it's it's pretty fun. It is awesome. Um, oh, you also have exclusive clips on many vids. Oh yeah. What kind of clips are on there? BBC. <laughs> BBC. Do you like BBC? I'm getting to think that that's maybe your favorite. And I love bondage. You like bondage? Yeah. Okay, cool. When did you discover that? Have you always liked bondage? Yes. <laughs> before before I start porn. Even okay, before you're into porn. That's pretty cool. <laughs> you have cool oh my god, is that a jump rope? No, that's <laughs> rope. <laughs> this is this is more like a fake more cute or fake. Okay, for show. Cute, yeah. But so because next week I'm gonna go to Centralist for feature dancing. Okay, where for feature dancing? 
Saint Louis Hasra Club. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna on the stage. I do. I bought it by myself. <laughs> okay, so you can can you wrap yourself? Like, can you like, or does someone have to like wrap you up in that? I can do a very simple, easy one. Oh, okay. <laughs> show us the easy one. <laughs> but I don't know. The YouTube is okay. Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess. I mean, I think it. Do it with your clothes on, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm ruining it. But <laughs> I don't think I can have nudity on YouTube. I, I think I it's think too sexy. <laughs> it would be too sexy. Come on my other show and you can do whatever you want. <laughs> Okay. We'll have to set that up. Oh, that's cool though. Um, okay, awesome. So you have a pink rope that's like just for show, but then if you were like really gonna like like do bondage like uh for a shoot or like for fun, you have other I have this. She's showing us her other stuff. Dances with dogs. I don't know. Should we give dances with dogs another shot? His last comment was dirty. Mm -hmm. All right, you get one more try. If this is dirty, I'm not going to put up any more <laughs> comments from him. Okay. Oh, what does that say? He said porno. He said porno? Yeah, just the porno, he said. You're on thin ice, dances with dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Marika is showing us her cool bondage gear. I mentioned many vids. Follow, ooh, follow her on social media and on Twitter at Marika underscore 1029. Her Instagram is at Marika Hase, M A R I C A H A S E. Oh, but uh, right now, I am using T H E M A R I C A H A S E D, Marika Hase, because uh, a month ago, Instagram had frozen. <laughs> My Instagram main account had frozen. I oh, no. You froze your Instagram? Yeah, I am too sexy. <laughs> You're too sexy. I feel that. I think that's my problem, too. No, I uh, my Instagram was deleted in March. Oh, my God. <laughs> I know. I'm devastated still. <gasps> what are you showing? <laughs> I wasn't showing <laughs> My my thoughts. No, I think I posted something about uh, uh, health. I don't know. I had some I had some opinions on COVID that they didn't like. Um. All right. Cool. Cool. Wait. Do I have a? Let's see here. Okay. Okay. I found my bondage. You did. Okay. You found your bondage gear. Oh, fun. <laughs> So that's like, yeah, that's like rope colored rope, uh, like classic yeah. rope looking. Okay. All right. That's cool. That's cute. Do you find uh, like doing Asian stereotypes like kind of, oh my God, this is great. First of all, I think we, I have a translator. This has never been done. I've never had this on the podcast before. We have live from his car, Ginger Ninja. Ninja. Hello. <laughs> Oh you were in the chat and now you're here. This is a, this is a, Hello. this is wild. Yeah, this is really surreal. This is very surreal. I know. Look, we're going to put Monica in the middle. Okay. Now I'm just going to, let's try this. Okay. Um, right. Monica, do you, do you find like performing like classic stereotypical, like Asian stereotypes, does that get boring for you? Um, or do you just figure like it comes with the business? I have okay. <laughs> Wait, let's hear Ninja speak Japanese. I know, 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 あの、エロビリニに出ることっていうのはどんな気分ですか。それはあの、嫌な気分ですか、反対ですか、それとも大歓迎ですかね。大歓迎です。Uh she's completely open to it. She's completely welcome to that kind of uh yeah. Wow. That experience. Okay. Okay, so you're like if you figure like okay, it comes with the business. I, I, yeah, I know some people hate some Asian people hate like the but I feel yeah. more 
I, I can think more positive. Oh, I, I am Asian. I'm special. Oh, that's why they book me like, like this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Obviously, if you weren't down with the, 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 the sort of kink and stereotypes, like maybe porn would not be for you. I don't know. But that's that's pretty cool. Okay, Ginger Ninja, I'm putting a lot of faith in you. You could be saying yeah, anything yeah, I, to her. I, well, I, I'm, I've, I'm a connoisseur of Marika's work, so I know that she can oh, speak God. English pretty well. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, so, so, yeah. Well, ma, no, so you, uh, no, video ni, ano, muite na kereba, mo, ero, no, ano, nati ku gyokai ni, eh, hatarako no ka totte mo taihen da ro na te kanoji ga yutte mashita. Mm. Yeah. What the hell is happening? <laughs> <laughs> I'm translating for you. I'm trying okay. my best. My Japanese isn't perfect. No, it's I, good. I, I've the been chat here for is impressed. Time, but I'm very, very like nervous right now because I'm a big fan of yours and a big uh, fan of hers, and I don't feel like this is happening right now. <laughs> we'll just put you in the middle. Well, Marika, no, I'm a creative dancer, so this is totally different. I'm a very strange feeling. Gets to take my own language, you know. I hope you're not being fresh, Ginger Ninja. <laughs> no, I, I'm being very humble right now. I'm, I'm shaking though a little bit. <laughs> oh wow! What is your um? What is your favorite? I guess like thing that she's done. Like, what do you? Anything in particular oh. that you really love? Okay, the the first thing that this is really strange. I don't know why, but I really like her in the blacked ones. That's cool. Uh -oh, he's, frozen. <laughs> he's frozen. He's shocked. He's <laughs> he's so he's so overcome with being a fan that he's frozen. Ginger Ninja's in his car. He's nervous. All right, he'll come back. Hopefully, or he's just frozen forever. <laughs> that's fun. Aw, that's I've never like pulled in a random fan like that. But I was like, you know what? I don't know any Japanese. He had really good Japanese. I was gonna ask him where he learned. <laughs> what um? What did you do for Blacked? When did that come out? It's a long time. Ago. I think I think before. Before I found out the cancer, so three or four years ago. Before cancer? Ginger Ninja, did you know she had cancer? I did not. I'm sorry. I'm at a convenience store right now, and their <laughs> internet was automatically looking up, uh, so I had to turn it off. Take us to the convenience store. Okay. All right. Really? <laughs> uh, it's at a 7-Eleven. No, oh. I did not know that you had cancer. Yeah. <laughs> She said, like, I've been out of work for three years. I haven't been performing. And I was like, yeah, it's really weird. I haven't seen any new videos from you. So I was wondering what was going on. But yeah, they lost one go. of her nipples. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Well, yep. she has such great ones. Losing one is no problem. The other one's worth uh, 10 of them. Oh. <laughs> あの、マリカさんの、ちくびはとっても価値が大きい、あの、高くて、一つがなくてもう大丈夫。だってもう一つは10、10個分の価値があるからね。Sorry. <laughs> I'm I'm experiencing FOMO on my own podcast. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Rune Tilda, thank you for the super sticker. Um, okay, this is actually great. You're a huge fan of her work. Um, do you are you an, an only fan subscriber, Ginger Ninja? Uh, no, not yet. Uh, I'm, I'm, a uh, uh, who knows? Maybe in the future. <laughs> okay. No! <laughs> maybe I'll have to now. I, I'm feeling the pressure. <laughs> no pressure. Just think about it. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do it for Marika. I'll do it for Marika. <laughs> Just for Marika. Because she asked nicely. Thank you. Cool, cool. Um, what, Monica, what, uh, is there anything you haven't done that you would love to do in the adult industry? Whether it's like, like who in particular would you really love to work with that you haven't yet? Mm -hmm. I still don't work with Asa. Okay, Asa. Oh, Asa uh, yeah. Yes, we, we work with yeah. Together, but uh, not the porn. 
for mainstream things. So I I never fuck Asa. <laughs> you never fuck her, but you would. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Which guys? Guy. Mm. Other than Ginger Ninja, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Mm. I, mm. <laughs> like there's so many how, how about uh, sorry i feel like i'm going to take over the show here go ahead, i have so go many ahead. questions uh ima mari to ishi ni ano enjita dancei no naka de ichiban yokata no wa dare deshita ka so i'm just asking her who is the best guy that you performed with yes very good question sorry <laughs> right I mean, I might, there must be so many. <laughs> but, um, but my, okay, I can tell you my favorite guy. <laughs> I have to pick one? Pick no, top five. No, Go pick as pick many five. as you want. As many as you want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Rico Strong. Rico Strong? Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, R-I-C-O, strong. Mm-hmm. R-I-C-O, strong. Oh, I see. Okay, what image can I put up that's not going to get me banned? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here's one. Uh, Rob Piper. Robbie Piper? Rob. Oh, Rob. Rob yeah. Piper. Rob Piper, yeah. Okay, let me... Uh, Tommy Pistol. Tommy Pistol. Ah. Okay, here is one of them. Right? Does he look familiar? <laughs> is this Rico? Is this your boy? Yeah, this is Rico. Yes, but looks young. Rico, maybe five years ago. Six oh, five, this is Rico ago. five years ago. Does he look better now or worse? <laughs> better. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> and like, what was the name of the other one? Oh, you said... um. Lob. Piper. Oh, yeah, Rob Piper. Okay. Gotta be very careful to bring up. Okay. <laughs> Again, this is, I think you like black guys, Monica. That's what I was saying in her I'm... black video. It looked like she was enjoying it a lot. I'm starting to like think. Like the performance seemed a... very I genuine. Think you have a type. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. <sighs> Let's find one. Here we go. This is a nice headshot of just his head. Um, do, do, do. I got to get Rob Piper on one of these. Okay. Hey, there he is. Love. <laughs> He's like, I love you, Monica. Let's do it again sometime. <laughs> love and uh, Tommy Pistol. Tommy Pistol. I think he's white. Yeah, he's, he's white. white. Yeah. Tommy Pistol, we all know. I mean, if you're like not even into porn, you know him. He he loves God by the his. He's by. God by his. A girl's by his dick. Yes. Tommy yeah. Pistol. Wait, he likes when a girl's by his dick, or it just it, it keeps happening to him. No, he loves. He loves that. Yeah, God by the. His, it's a wow. Okay. Chomp, chomp. So this guy likes getting his dick bitten. That's interesting. Have you done that for him, Monica? I bite his dick so many times. <laughs> oh my god. How hard? How hard do you know how to go? Like Dori Gratio so <laughs> <laughs> This is the best podcast I've ever done. Ah, so the come to kiwa, so do you know how to come to ka? Ato, choice wa do yatte sarun desu ka ne? Eh? He like so he likes it really hard. Yes. Okay, super rough. Okay, wow. I've heard that. Wow. What? Something else? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is... I like Danny Montana. Danny Mon- Montana? Montana, Montana. Uh... Mountain or Montana? Danny Mountain. Mountain? Mountain? Yeah. Okay. 
All right. Named after a mountain. I feel like that's not his real name. Let's see. <laughs> Uh, again, I can't show. Um, all right, this one I could show. Hey, this guy's white. All right, I could. <laughs> Let's see, dude. He's we cute. Are, we he's... are inclusive. We are inclusive here. Yeah, this is. He's very boy next door. Let's see. Do, do, do. Oh, more fans getting in the chat. Let's see. Do, do, do. God, I please hope this is the right photo. Hey, there he is. Danny Mountain. Maybe this is. A... 30 years ago. This is 30? Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, no. This is 30 this years is ago? Boy. Okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> this is just when he was a hill. This is when he was a hill. This is when he was oh still a small God. hill. Okay, well, shoot. I suck at picking photos. All right. Um, let's see. <laughs> I'm like really trying to not bring up I'm like really trying to not bring up anything nude. I still can't get over that the guy who likes his dick bitten. That's that's new. Yeah. That's fun. <laughs> He's the true man of steel. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. Do do do. Okay, I've lost the Would you thing. would you mind if I ask a question? No, Chrissy? please. Marika wa kondon shitsuen suru yotte wa itsu desu ka? Sore tomo sore ato ma hitotsu shujutsu de hitotsu nakunatte koto ni taishite nari ka I'm just asking her if she's had any like difficulties after her surgery with uh, being like refused for like, uh, you know, in her, like being in any videos and when's the next time that she's going to perform. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's kind of a serious question. Sorry. I like serious. It's fine. Okay, okay. So if she, if she gets refused for a role or a part, she doesn't hear about it. It goes directly to her agent, and so she doesn't hear about it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. So you don't have like the rejection head on like you do in comedy. <laughs> oh. Okay. So comedy no bae wa mo choku setsu yu arerun mm datte. -hmm. I got no wrong history. History. Yeah. <laughs> There's still time. <laughs> you have to be so confident to ask somebody to bite your dick. I'm still not over that. I think that's kind of amazing. Uh Mao de Mighty, hi Marika. Can you introduce me to Minori Hatsun? Hatsune? Oh, is that who you mentioned before? Ha Hatsune. 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 Minori Hatsune. Sorry. <laughs> oh, you're I, fine. You're fine. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know who she is. She didn't know. She didn't know this person. The anime girl? I don't know. Minori Hatsune. She didn't know him. Not all Japanese people know each other, Mao. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, let's see. What? Oh, man, this is so fun. What other fun, fun stuff can we translate? Um... <laughs> Yeah, another question, Ginger Ninja. While I get okay, I have a million questions for it. Right, okay. My next question is: Nihonji no, ano otana no joyu no dake de, ichiban tsuki na no wa dare desu ka? I'm asking who's her favorite Japanese adult uh, actress or oh, yeah, okay. adult film star. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> It's hard to pick like a favorite. Uh, I, 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 I don't remember because I don't do work for Japanese company for a while. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. She's an American girl now. All right. I, I have... know. <laughs> I have to represent Japan now. What's going on here? <laughs> how did you learn? How did you learn Japanese, Jinja Ninja? Oh, I mean, I studied in college for a couple of years, and I've I did a study abroad in Osaka, and I've lived here for twenty years now. Oh, you're in Japan right now. I'm mean, I'm calling from Japan right now. That's you're why it's daytime. You're calling from Japan. Oh my God, this is long yeah. distance. I hope this is costing you a fortune. Oh no, I'm using no, no, no I'm using uh, what <laughs> I've got I've got my Wi-Fi and everything. Okay, cool. I hope it doesn't cost me a fortune. That would be surprising. That would be a big LOL later. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to do a screen share. I have here an anime and manga manga. 
fuck, I'm saying it wrong, soundboard. And I want to, I want you guys to, Marika and Jinjin Ninja, tell me which of these are like, I guess, translate, right? That's what we want to do. We want to translate the sounds of these right here. Okay, okay. This might be fun or this might be a hot mess. Here we go. This is, these are all anime sounds for real? Yeah. Okay, that's not anime. That's bra. We all know that. Bra. Okay, what's this one? <laughs> what's that? <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, it means yeah, like ta-da. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Right, I'm going to heart that one. I'm going to use. Oh, no. Whoops. Go back. All right, what this one? Suck. That's not anime. <laughs> or is it? It's just suck. All right, crickets. I have no idea. We don't, that's not it anyway. <laughs> that's, wait a minute. Well, that's Nelson. <laughs> These are just regular sounds. My producers have you yeah. this. It says anime. It says anime. All right, Japanese. I'm going to look for the Japanese ones. Here we go. Deja vu. No, that's not it. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. All right, that sounds Japanese. <laughs> I'm sorry, sounds like guys. <laughs> sounds like she's having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, it's an orgasm. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Ichata. <laughs> Ichata? That's orgasm in Japanese. Ichata, yeah, what? What? I, I came. Ichata. You know what? Orgasm? What do you know, Marika-san? Orgasm. What? Ichata? 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 I feel like you guys are really bonding. Okay, here we go. Um, <laughs> wait, that's not Japanese. <laughs> that's Dragon Ball. Kamehameha? That's Dragon Kame, Ball. Kamehameha, right. Yeah, that's from All Dragon right. Ball. Okay. What about this? <laughs> It's Japanese at all. Okay. Well, I think that's universal. That's, yeah, that's worldwide. Okay. Yeah. Let's try this one. What's that from? I have no idea. Nobody knows. Okay. What about this? Suka, 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 blyat, suka, 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 blyat, suka, 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 blyat, suka, 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 What's that? That one means you're already dead. It's from Fist of the North Star. <laughs> oh, wow. You're already dead. It's a famous anime. Uh, uh, it's kind of like a cult classic. Oh, okay. What about this one? User oh, disconnected well, from your channel. <laughs> That's not it. What about this? I don't understand that. Definitely. Oh, me too. Oni-chan. You could use that? that for like... More like, like a... Yeah. Only time you can say to oh, go ahead, Marika. Sorry, only is uh, uh, exact to me is a uh, brother, or the brother, but uh, this one is more like a step brother. <gasps> oh, step brother, step brother. Okay, yeah. interesting. Okay, yeah, you could also use like only chant for those. It's me, Mario. All right, well, that's Italian. What is that doing here? Okay. <laughs> um, hold on. What else is it? Japanese? This one? <laughs> What's that? Can you translate? Sounds like it's from some kind of anime. <laughs> yeah, for guides. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's try this one. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> I don't think that's Japanese. Let's try this one. Yeah. Play it again. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You got this, Chrissy. <laughs> that's all right. I trust you guys. Right, let's try this one. <laughs> that's that's our Pokemon. Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> the really yellow Pokemon monster guy. I feel like not all of these are Japanese. <laughs> Nani? What's that? What? Okay. What? Yeah, yeah. Nani? Okay. okay. 
All right, Monica, just tell me at any point if this is not fun, and I'll, I'll take this off. Okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> that seems. What's that from? <laughs> I want to sexy, it's... sexy song instant. The popular one. It's popular? <laughs> the, pop, the popular one. Sexy song. Okay, let's try this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what is that? Is that anime? I have no idea what we're doing here. I have no idea. I just want these translated. Hold on. Utini. Utini. That's for Star Wars. Star Wars? That's not even Japanese. Yeah. Oh, God. All right. Let's try this. Ay, que burro. Da zero para él. <laughs> that sounds Spanish. Yeah, this is like horrible. Eastern European or something like that. Okay. I got to find but a The Japanese person who one. put this together might not know. <laughs> yeah. Whoever put this together was not Japanese. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's just, we all know what this is. Okay. Which one? Yeah. Easy. Uh... <laughs> Okay, this is a Japanese one. Here we go. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> mm, like, I agree. I'm ugly? I agree. Oh, I agree. Oh, fuck. Okay, I agree. <laughs> I could do some of these. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, let's. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I think that was the uh, same girl from before. Yeah, yeah she's just saying, wow, wow. Great. Okay. All right. Sugoi. That was a long one. It's not the Japanese. Either. That's what she said. Oh, damn. All right. <laughs> Guys, you're bearing with me here. All right, let's try this one. That one was such a quiet I'm okay. One. I'm okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Another anime orgasm. <laughs> well, shoot, that's universal. I want. I want to. I want to hear again. I this one. Like... You're like this is me. You're like I think this one's me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's cute. Anime orgasm. <laughs> Wait, Marika, let's hear your best anime orgasm. Huh? My own. Yeah, could yeah, you yeah, do your, your anime one? Anime yeah. no. <gasps> could you do like an anime orgasm noise? <laughs> anime no. It's a little bit of 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 a little No pressure. No pressure. I'll just keep pushing buttons. Here we go. Licking the sound. This one? It's a licking the sound. Oh, licking. Okay. What about this one? Yare, yare does it. How can I translate this one? Yale, yale. Uh, uh, can you play? Can... Maybe. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How would you translate this? Oh, that. Yare means like. This depends on the context. No, yale, yale, means more like a, okay. That's a hard work. Okay. I, I did it. Okay. Good. And right, yaretaze is it. like yeah. it's a different to me, the the yareta, yeah. yare, yare. Yeah. Yaretaze mm. is like you you got me. Yaretaze, you got me. Ooh. Okay. I'm learning a lot, guys. All right, let's try this. Yorokobe shonen. Yorokobe shonen? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I got a happy young boy. <laughs> yeah, all right. Let's, I don't want to touch that. Let's try this one. <laughs> Bag, bag, I can bid. <laughs> yeah, the name is like, oh man, I, I don't like that. 
Okay. Uh, baka, baka means you idiot, you idiot. And then mm-hmm. akambe is like where they do this with their eye and they stick out their tongue. Uh, That's it's a, like thing? a way of teasing people. Oh. Yeah, akambe. Uh, yeah. Okay, quick question from the coconut. Is it hard to visit Japan if you don't know Japanese or is it English friendly? Good question. Um, I do. <laughs> I think in 2019, when I go back to Japan, so many places has English subtitle and so many shops had English translator because we, on that time, we did not know we gonna have COVID problem. Japanese people just, I think, was excited to for upcoming Olympic. So they are yeah, yeah, yeah. so many English stuff. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, what you'll find in Japan too is like I live in the countryside out here, um, and even though a lot of people can't speak English, they'll do their best to try, and they'll be really hospitable and nice. It's a very, very friendly country, uh, extremely friendly. So even if you don't understand Japanese, you can still get around here. People will help you out. Yeah. All right. Cool. Very safe too. All yeah. Right, awesome. Yeah. Maybe Ginger, you could visit Marika's family. No, don't do that. Never mind. <laughs> don't do that. I'd be happy to. Uh oh. What have I started? Okay, let's find another. No, <laughs> oh, that's from before. Okay. Um, yeah. Anime orgasm. <laughs> uh, wow, yeah. that sounded like a big one. Oh, yeah. it's still going. Wow, oh, this is like me. My that's own. like you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how you. That's what it sounds like when this is. It sounds like when you come. <laughs> like a tree yeah. branch breaks off. I think she just spurted a whole bunch of water everywhere. Oh, okay. I was like, something's yeah. happening. All right, what else looks good? Oh, that means hello. Uh, thank you. Or thanks. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Let's see. What's another good one? All right. I'm not going to go through 186 pages of this. Uh, what this one? John, John. John, John. John, John. <laughs> she needs, um, it's no means just a sound. She needs more attention. Too. Give me attention. Give me attention. Yeah, John, John. She's like trying to get your attention. John, John. Yeah. Oh, a little bit. Okay. <laughs> that might be Spanish. Yeah, that's uh, everything. Everything that isn't Japanese out here is Spanish. Let's just keep it. To that. <laughs> okay. That was that yeah. was maybe possibly a bad idea. That's fun. That's my anime soundboard. I'll have to comb through that a little bit more. Well, I, I think some of those the uh, the the orgasm ones will be very useful in the future. You could definitely try those out. <laughs> oh yeah. I definitely. Oh, did the lights go out in Monica's house? Uh-oh. I'm here. Just uh, I need light. Okay. Light. The lights. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Oh, what a, okay. <gasps> One more question from Ginger Ninja, and then we're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna. Oh, close wrap it. for now. Yeah. All right. One more question. Oh, geez. Wow, you put me on the spot. Uh, I've got a. Uh, let's see. Um, all right. Uh, oh gosh, this is so much pressure. Uh, uh-huh. Would you? Uh, let's see. Oh man, you put me on the spot, Chrissy. Yes. I just want to ask about her or her. What's upcoming for her? What are her plans Ooh, for the future? Yeah. Okay. Uh, also, also, she's making a documentary. She said, I uh, see, I missed out on the, the first half of this. So, yeah, she's working on a documentary now. Okay, and, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. But, I don't know because uh, no, it's COVID, so company. Uh, yeah. But already they should open three, no, four. I think over four years. Oh, okay. Yes. All so right. So, all they, okay, they've been shooting it for four years. Oh, wow. All right. Okay. One more question. And this is just kind of from, from, from me. Uh, 
would you mind in your upcoming videos to uh -oh. speak more Japanese? Oh. <laughs> I don't know where you go. <laughs> <with that. laughs> uh, I, I can't speak English because uh, I can't decide. The director told me, okay, this yeah, is true, yeah. so you need to speak more Japanese, more English, or half English, right. or half Japanese. So. Right. Yeah. All right. Do I just get your director in touch with me, and I'll I'll tell him what to do. Oh boy, you're like I thought, Ginger. I thought you were gonna ask her to like yell out your name in the next video. Like, when you oh, come, can you yell out you Ginger it. Ninja? Please. Oh wow. God. Give me like a little shout out. A little shout out in the movie. If if you subscribe my OnlyFans, I can I can handle all my there OnlyFans. There we go. Content. All right, okay, you got me, you got me. She's a, she's a businesswoman. Um, she's a businesswoman. Yeah, I love it. Um, Monica, any, Chrissy, any, I'm sorry, Chris. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. Any, uh, any, I was just gonna say what did I miss? <laughs> no, Monica. I was going to say, when you, were, when you asked me to translate, I was thinking, okay, is this going to be like a political thing? So I was yes. getting all these words together and everything, and I had no idea whatsoever it was going to be Marika Hase. I this was is like, not political <laughs> enough for you? <laughs> no, this is perfect. This is perfect. Okay, okay right, Marika, um, <laughs> let's see. I mentioned your OnlyFans, uh, premium Snapchat, many vids, your social media. Um, anything else I missed that you want to plug? Um, my YouTube, oh, you told, you told me? My YouTube channel is Marika Hase Official. Ooh, okay. Awesome. Ginger Ninja, where can people find your translating services? <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> uh, to be honest, I, I haven't done a whole lot of translating for a while now, but, uh, I do have a YouTube page, uh, <laughs> the Ginger Ninja. Hi. I do artwork. I do artwork, uh, currently working on comic work with another guy. Uh, yeah, so you can find me there. Uh, that has links to my Instagram and my website. So, yeah, if you ever need any help with Japanese or if you're looking for some artwork or what have you, Ooh, stop it over okay. my way. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much. You helped out a lot, and we had a lot of fun with the soundboard. This was <laughs> probably my favorite episode ever. <laughs> Thank you, chat, yeah, I'm glad I could for the questions. Thank Thanks for the super chat. Thank you, guys. All right, until next time, guys. Bye. Marika, we love you. Bye-bye. We love you. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.